Hi there, welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. In this video, we shall talk about food containers at home that you can use and recycle as hydroponic containers, a sort of DIY project. Since I was interested in growing plants indoors or at home, which has limited space and sunshine, I decided to use the Kratky technique for hydroponics. It's the simplest method, great for indoor personal gardening. It is a passive technique that does not require pumps. It just requires a cup to hold your plant and cocoa peat and a container to hold the nutrient solution. When I started out, I purchased these 2 inch wide net cups for my basil forest. You can purchase larger ones and it all depends on the plant you want to grow. Finding net cups and containers to hold a nutrient solution was a challenging task at first until I learned to recycle any food jar or food container I had at home. When I need to wait for the roots to get longer, I like placing the seedlings together in one container and I wait for the roots to develop. The advantage of placing the seedlings in one container is that it is easy to refill the container with nutrient solution when needed. This temporary container is an aluminum pan used for baking macaroni. It's nice and deep and it comes with a lid that looks like this. What I do is I place holes of about 2 inches depending on the size of your net cup and this lid can hold about six seedlings. I also place barbecue sticks in the middle and on the sides like this to reinforce the cover, especially when the seedlings are heavy. When the roots are long or large enough, that's when I transfer them to their respective containers. So here we have some celery seedlings that need to be transferred to a container to hold a nutrient solution. Here we have a jar that used to hold fruits. As you can see, the 8 ounce cup I'm using to hold my celery fits well. And the line of the jar is the level to place the nutrient solution. Don't forget, you need to wrap the jar with aluminum foil to prevent outside light from passing through and causing algae to grow inside. Another food container you can use is something like this peanut butter jar. The rim is too wide to hold my 8 ounce cup. However, I can recycle a McDonald's Sunday cup like this. I just place holes on the bottom and it holds quite well with this peanut butter jar. I also place a mark to guide me so that I know where to level off the nutrient solution. Don't forget to place aluminum around the container. Another food container you can recycle is this container that used to hold yogurt. Now, none of the previous cups can fit in it because the yogurt container is too wide. So, an alternative to a net cup is using this noodle cup where I place holes on the bottom using a soldering iron. And as you can see, it fits quite well. Another alternative to using this yogurt cup as a container is to get it slid and place a hole using scissors so that you can fit an 8 ounce net cup. You can also recycle something like this cookie jar as a container. Now this is really wide for any of my net cups. So what I did was to drill a hole that's about two and a half inches wide. So now I can place in my eight ounce cup or even use the McDonald's Sunday cup. For 
medium sized plants, I like using 2 liter containers like this orange juice pet bottle. Cut around 4 to 5 inches from the top. Here's the bottom which I covered with aluminum foil. For the top, I placed holes using a soldering iron and now the top can function as my neck cup. You can also recycle 2 liter soda pet bottles just like we did with the orange juice container. The top has holes placed on it so that we can use the top as a net cup that will hold the plant. So this is alternative container, it's about a 6 liter that used to hold distilled water and I just cut it here on the edge to fit the net cup and our possibilities for a net cup are using a soft, you know, soft cover pot. This is what we can do and cut it over here so that we can fit basically the cup over here that's holding the plant and as you can see if I put it over here, it's, it's diameter is enough to fit there. Um, another alternative is to use a microwave container which in this example I placed the hole here so that I could um, place the, the plant in and then from here I'll place it here as my neck cup. There you have it. Thank you for watching this DIY container video. Till our next video. Bye-bye.